Have you ever wondered how one person can change the course of history? Let's take a journey back in time to the rich and vibrant world of the Purapicha civilization, nestled in the heart of what is now known as Mexico. A society steeped in tradition, culture, and a deep connection to the natural world, the Purapicha people held a profound understanding of their surroundings, which they expressed through their complex beliefs and lifestyle. At the heart of their oral tradition lies the legend of Arandira, a tale woven with threads of historical events and mythical elements. The story of Arandira is not just a tale of courage and defiance, but also a testament to the strength of one individual's impact on the course of history. Legends such as these serve as a vessel, carrying the essence of a civilization through the ages, shaping cultures, and preserving histories. Now, let us delve into the heart of the legend, the story of Arandira. The peaceful life of the Purapecha people was disrupted by the arrival of strangers. These strangers were not like any they had seen before. They came from across the vast ocean, from a world unknown to the Purapecha. They were the Spaniards, armored in glinting metal, their faces hidden behind strange helmets. The Spaniards brought with them objects of terror and fascination. Among these were beasts of burden, unlike any the Purepecha had ever seen. They were large and muscular, with manes of hair flowing down their long necks and hooves that struck the earth like thunder. These creatures were horses, yet to the Purepecha, they were like mythical beasts sprung from the tales told around their fires at night. The horses evoked a mixture of fear and curiosity among the Purepecha. Their size and strength were intimidating, yet their grace and beauty were undeniable. The Spaniards sat atop these beasts as if they were extensions of their own bodies commanding them with mere gestures and sounds. The Purapicha watched in awe as these strange men and their beasts moved as one, a sight that both terrified and fascinated them. The horses, these beasts, became symbols of the Spaniards' power. Their speed and agility were unmatched, their endurance unending. They carried the Spaniards over long distances, and in battle they were a force to be reckoned with. The Purepecha had never encountered such creatures and they were unsure of how to react. Fear was the initial response, but as they observed these beasts more closely, a sense of awe and wonder began to replace their initial terror. Yet amidst the fear and fascination, there was one among the Purepecha who saw something different in these beasts. She was Erendira, the young princess of the Purepecha. While others saw creatures to be feared, she saw beings to be understood. And so instead of recoiling in fear, she reached out with a hand of friendship. Among the fear-stricken Purepecha, one young princess dared to be different. Erendira, a young Purepecha princess, chose compassion over fear. In a world where the unknown was often met with violence, Erendira chose a different path. The beast, as the Purepecha people called it, was in reality a horse brought by the Spaniards. Terrifying in its unfamiliarity, it was decided that the creature should be sacrificed. But Erendira saw something else in the beast, the potential for understanding, perhaps even alliance. This decision didn't sit well with everyone, especially with Nanuma, a revered Purepecha elder. Nanuma, steeped in tradition and wary of the new, saw Erendira's decision as a dangerous defiance of their way of life. A rift grew between them, a clash of old and new, fear and curiosity. Yet Erendira held firm in her belief, she chose to walk the path of empathy, of compassion, even when it led to conflict. Erendira's actions set in motion a chain of events that would forever change the fate of her people. Faced with the threat of death, Erendira made a daring escape. In the stillness of the night, she mounted her powerful ally, the horse once feared as a beast, and with a whisper, urged it into the darkness. The hooves pounded against the earth like a drumbeat of freedom, echoing through the silent plains and the starlit skies. Her escape was not just personal, it was symbolic. She was a princess, the embodiment of the Purepecha spirit, now fleeing from her own people. Her departure created a vacuum, a void that was quickly filled by the Spanish invaders. The Spaniards, emboldened by her absence, seized this opportunity. They swept through the lands, their conquest swift and brutal. The once vibrant Purapecha civilization fell under the shadow of foreign rulers, their freedom trampled under the hooves of the Spanish horses. The escape marked the beginning of a new era for the Purapecha people. An era of struggle but also of resilience and defiance. 
It was the start of a story that would be told for centuries to come. In the face of adversity, Erendira rose as a beacon of hope. With a warrior's spirit and a leader's heart, she inspired her people, the Purapicha, to rise against their Spanish invaders. With the odds stacked against them, they didn't cower. Instead, they embraced the daunting task with courage, forming a guerrilla uprising. Erendira, once a princess, now stood as a general, a symbol of defiance. She knew that a direct confrontation with the Spaniards was suicide. So, she masterminded a strategy of guerrilla warfare, a new concept for her people. The Pura Pecha would strike swiftly and retreat into the shadows, using their intimate knowledge of the land to confound and frustrate their enemies. Each battle was a testament to their resilience. Despite their limited resources and weaponry, they fought fiercely, using every available means to resist the heavily armed Spaniards. They used the terrain to their advantage, launching surprise attacks from hidden forest paths and narrow mountain passes. They were relentless, often fighting under the cloak of darkness, keeping the Spaniards on their toes. But this uprising was not without its sacrifices. Many Purapecha fell in these battles, their lives given in the pursuit of freedom. Yet their sacrifices were not in vain. Each fallen warrior became a symbol of resistance, their memory fueling the fire of rebellion. At the heart of this uprising was Erendira, a leader like no other. Her bravery was unmatched, her spirit unbroken. She led from the front, her actions speaking louder than her words. She was the first into battle and the last to retreat, her courage instilling a sense of hope and determination in her people. This guerrilla uprising was more than just a series of battles. It was a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Purepecha, a demonstration of their refusal to surrender their land and their freedom without a fight. And at the forefront was Erendira, a leader whose courage and resilience became the stuff of legends. Erendira's courage inspired her people to fight for their freedom. The legend of Erendira is more than just a captivating tale. It reverberates through the corridors of time, echoing the spirit of resistance, the courage to defy, and the undying pursuit of freedom. This is not merely the story of a princess and a beast, but rather, it's an enduring testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Erendira, the Purapecha princess, stood tall against the might of the Spanish invaders, but her defiance was not born of hatred or fear. It sprouted from a place of understanding, of compassion, even when confronted with the unknown. She embraced the horse, the beast of the Spanish, choosing friendship over sacrifice. This act alone was a rebellion against the status quo, a statement that fear should not govern our actions. Her escape and the subsequent guerrilla uprising she led were not just a fight for survival, but a battle for the soul of her people. Erendira did not merely resist the invaders. She redefined what it meant to be a leader, a woman, a warrior. She shattered the expectations of her time and in doing so paved a path for those who would come after her. Today, the legacy of Erendira permeates the very fabric of our society. It's a beacon that continues to inspire and empower, a reminder that bravery is not the absence of fear but the strength to overcome it. Especially for women, Erendira's tale is a testament to the power of courage and determination. It resonates with a resounding cry that we are not defined by our circumstances but by our actions, our choices. The story of Erendira is not confined to the pages of history. It's a living, breathing narrative that continues to shape our present. It's a call to arms for every individual who dares to stand against injustice, who dares to dream of a world not as it is, but as it could be. Erendira's legend lives on, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, one person can indeed change the course of history.